When I was considering purchasing a laser engraver, Laser Packer sent over their latest Laser Packer 5, also called as LP5. This machine is claimed to be the smallest machine on the market today. It can be held directly in the hand like using iron on any material and just leaves its mark. And the great performance that we tested from the LP5 just keeps reminding that the concentration is the essence. This big head is what we just mentioned, the essence. Hidden inside is a 20 watt 450 nanometer dialed laser. Compared to the common 10 watt transmitter, not only can it engrave wood, but also support your creations on acrylic boards, stones, glass, and even ceramics. It can even cut 20 mm thick base wood or 15 mm black acrylic. The other 20 watt fiber laser is more used for metal materials such as stainless steel, aluminum, brass, iron, gold, silver, and platinum. But with the right adjustment, you can create three dimensional reliefs and even cut through 1 mm thick brass, stainless steel, aluminum, titanium plates. I tried the metal cutting function on the 0.45 mm thick utility blade. And the cut section of the LP5 showed that the edges were clear and there was no excessive debris and strikes and it does its job really fast too. According to the official introduction of the laser packer, the engraving speed is up to 10,000 mm per second. I don't know how fast 10,000 mm per second is, but just look at the little monster, it's been crazily busy. Returning to the parcel sent by Laser Packer, here is a Deluxe Edition includes laser unit, electric bracket, cone protector, sliding extension, rotation extension. Among them, the laser unit plus electric bracket, conical protective cover are the three pieces we see on the package. The slide table and rotary axis can be used to expand our work area. The original work area is 120 by 160 millimeters, similar to an iPad mini or folding screen phone. But after using the slide table for expansion, the work area can be upgraded to an iPad Pro. But now let's get back and see how we installed LP5's engraving machine body. If you are an experienced DIY player, follow the product image on the package and you can even assemble it directly. And all the accessories for installing the machine have been well prepared inside the package. Now let's install the mainframe. First, attach the base plate and bracket, fixing the screws with the wrench. But I hope that laser packer will be able to distinguish the colors of the different wrenches from different models when they leave the factory. The laser unit is secured to the motorized bracket by turning the knob on the bracket. The next step is to follow a spirit level to address the laser unit and the base plate to be relatively horizontal. And know that when installing the conical shield, the laser shield needs to be removed first. The mounting position can then be easily found here. Tighten the two screws underneath and cover the orange colored shield. Finally, link the exhaust pipe to the fan on the back and complete the installation of the protective cover. Connect the motorized stand to the laser transmitter using the included USB cable. And don't forget to connect the power supply of the cover to the USB port as well. Finally, insert the security key into a mini USB port, otherwise the machine will not work properly. After connecting the power, you are ready to configure the LP5. For those who are not familiar with the laser model, the LP5 can link to PC, Mac, Android devices, iPhones via USB or Wi-Fi. But I've also tried the iPad and had a good experience with it too. You can even use the more specialized light burn software to work on a PC or Mac. But here I use the official laser packer design space to test it because it's easier to get started and can be downloaded directly from their website. Before using the Wi-Fi to link, you have to use the laser packer design space to set up the Wi-Fi via USB with your PC or Mac. After following the instructions, you can use the link on your PC or mobile device. If you have not been able to connect the LP5 to Wi-Fi here, please check whether your Wi-Fi is 2.4G or not. It's better to check your router settings and turn off dual band unity because many routers combine 2.4G and 5G by default when they are shipped. But I've encountered other problems here on the iPad as well as the iPhone. The link goes very smoothly, but on a PC, I often can't search for the LP5. I guess it's because the PC is not connected to the same router as the LP5. I found that in my router settings, I can see that the LP5 is successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. Theoretically, devices on the same line can link to each other. But it just doesn't work. It wasn't until I rebooted the router that everything was resolved. Not only can I see the LP5 in the Wi-Fi, but I can also link it with the IP address. It is best to wear protective eyewear before using the equipment because the device belongs to the class 4 laser products. 4 is the highest class in the laser safety standards. The protective eyewear can be found in a box labeled goggle case in the LP5 package. 
The eyewear supplied with the laser packer has a protection rating of OD4, also meets the safety standards for this device. It can filter out of 450 nanometers and 10,064 nanometer laser light and reduces the lasers by a factor of 10,000. Now let's power on the device. Upon powering, the machine will emit a beep to indicate that it's ready. The indicator light on the laser device will then start blinking blue, signifying that it's a waiting connection from the client. Here I will use the LSD on my PC to connect. After creating a new project, the top right corner of the project will prompt you to connect the device. You will hear a beep during the connection and another beep once the connection is successfully established. Once success, the device information will be displayed at the top right corner of the client. It is recommended to update the firmware of the device before use. Through the scaling settings here, I created a 0.2mm margin for this text to prevent the font from exceeding the side of the USB drive. Switch to the bottom right to set the laser parameters suited for anodized aluminum. But don't rush to start work yet. After clicking preview, two red dots and a blue square will appear below the LP5. First, make sure the two red dots are focusing on the surface of the USB drive by addressing the standard height and move the USB drive to ensure the blue square is on the surface you are about to engrave. Then cover with a protective cover. Now return to the LDS to start engraving. So after everything is set up, you can just wait for the completed artwork. From the test, I found that the LP5 is very fast when drawing flat patterns. Even when engraving metal, the speed is still very fast. Almost as soon as I clicked on the engraving, we can immediately get the finished product. But when I was about to operate, I found that there seems to be a threshold to successfully use this feature. I first tried to directly load the picture into LDS using its own normal map conversion function, but from the preview, it seems not very good. So I found an online normal map conversion tool on GitHub. No worries, I will put the link down below. Using this web page, I converted this flat graphic into a bump map, then import it into LDS, select the effect, and choose 2D relief. At this time, the preview pattern on the operating table will be like this. If you are not satisfied with the bump effect, you can try to reverse or try to add more layers. Please note that the more layers, the better the effect. And however, the longer the engraving time as well. So I chose 15 here. Then repeat the previous steps, preview, focus, address the position, select a suitable parameter. Here we can find that the LDS software seems to be more convenient on the mobile side. On the mobile side, there are several setup parameters for you to choose from when engraving different materials. However, there's no reference on the PC side. Here, there seems to be no parameter suitable for brace. Set manually here, then it's a long wait. Okay, that's my hands-on experience with the laser engraver. If you just look at the data of this engraving machine, you can't realize what is special about this machine. But after using it, you will find that this machine is not only powerful. Combined with an easy-to-use LSD, the LP5 is an ideal creative tool. If you feel that LSD is limiting your play, you can still use light burn to do the work. However, LSD behaves a little strangely on the PC side, lacking the help of these parameters. To help newbies get started instead, it makes me feel that the upper limit of this machine is far more than what Laser Packer tells us, and probably it would rely on users to expand the edges with their great imagination. We've been very impressed by this modeling machine, so I'll try to add more creative works with the LP5 and may update our exploration from time to time, so stay tuned. If you're interested in this machine, you can click the link down below to learn more. Thank you for watching, and welcome to some China. See you soon.